We always suggest to our clients to partner with a recruitment agency exclusively and really build that trusted partnership. I think it gets you guys that level of commitment that you're looking for and equally as a consultant it allows us to really tap into that passive pool of talent and equally we don't feel like it's a bit of a race to get CVs over to you ahead of other agencies. I always think that if you brief five agencies, you know, you're going to get five completely different ways that a role is, is taken to market and ultimately these ways are going to be inconsistent. As a candidate, you know, if I was briefed by three agencies, I would kind of start to think, are you guys struggling to hire? You know, and it wouldn't make me feel very special if my details had already been sent over. And I think you know, sometimes this can ultimately have a bit of a negative effect in terms of employer brand in the marketplace. We all know that great candidates get snapped up pretty quickly, so if I'm working with a client and you know I share a profile of a candidate with them and they think they look really, really interesting, I always suggest you know let's get them booked in, even if it's just for a first stage initial phone call, just to kind of keep that candidate engaged and equally just get the ball rolling. You know, I think if you know a client has a batch of CVs and you know they want to look at 10 before actually deciding who to invite in, it could be two weeks and a lot can change within that two weeks and ultimately half the candidates that you want to then invite in might not be available. So I think it's always you know really important to agree timelines with the consultant previously so you know we can ensure that candidates keep their diary free and equally for the hiring managers your end you know you can ensure that you're available too. Uh, you know we've had a candidate interview and it's negative or positive then just let us know so we can feed back and manage expectations our end. I think something that we do come across quite a bit is kind of internal candidates and we totally get that, that these happen they can come out of nowhere um, but I think equally if they're in the process from the beginning just let us know we, we you know we're used to it we hear about it we deal with it and I think the main reason that, that we like to know stuff like that from our end is again just to manage our candidates' expectations and timelines and just ensure that they have the best experience interviewing with your company as they possibly can.